Why my dog is vomiting. It is possible that your dog is throwing up for a number of reasons, ranging from relatively minor difficulties to more serious medical conditions. Dogs have an innate ability to vomit in order to rid their stomachs and bodies of substances that are not agreeable to them. Number 1. Inappropriate Consumption Dogs are notorious for indulging in inappropriate consumption, such as by eating waste, rotten food, or even foreign objects. This may cause nausea and vomiting as well as an upset stomach. Number 2. Alterations made hastily to the diet. Alterations made hastily to the diet of your dog can induce gastrointestinal upset and vomiting. Number 3. Gastritis. Gastritis is an inflammation of the lining of the stomach, which can be brought on by a number of factors including infections, toxins, or even certain drugs. Inflammation in the gastrointestinal system is referred to as gastroenteritis. Inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract can be brought on by illnesses brought on by bacteria, viruses, or parasites. Number 4. Pancreatitis. Pancreatitis is an inflammation of the pancreas that can result in nausea and vomiting, as well as pain and discomfort in the abdomen, and a loss of appetite. Number 5. Disease of the Inflammatory Bowel IBD is a chronic disorder characterized by inflammation of the gastrointestinal system, which can result in both vomiting and diarrhea. Number 6. Poisoning Poisoning is characterized by the ingestion of poisonous chemicals, plants, or pharmaceuticals, which might result in vomiting. Number 7. Motion Sickness it is possible for some dogs to get motion sickness during automobile rides, which can cause them to throw up. Number 8. Bloat. Bloat, also known as gastric dilatation volvulus, is a potentially fatal disorder in which the stomach twists and traps air, causing the patient to experience bloating as well as vomiting. It is possible that you should not be overly concerned if your dog throws up once or twice but otherwise seems healthy and keeps eating normally even after those episodes. However, you should consult a veterinarian as soon as possible if the vomiting does not stop if it contains blood, or if it is accompanied by other symptoms like diarrhea, lethargy, or dehydration. Those are all signs that indicates 